The Rail Accident Investigation Branch has conducted an investigation into an accident that occurred on the 26th of February 2020. A visually impaired person fell from the platform edge of Eden Park Station in South East London and was struck and fatally injured by a passenger train. Following the accident, emergency services staff, who had arrived to provide medical assistance, were delayed by over 12 minutes, as they were unable to determine whether traction current power had been turned off. Our investigation found that the person probably fell because he was unaware he was close to the platform edge, and the platform was not fitted with markings, such as tactile surfaces, intended to assist visually impaired people. Tactile surfaces are used to convey important information to visually impaired people about their environment, such as hazard warning or directional guidance. They have been used at pedestrian crossings on UK roads since at least the mid-1980s and at railway platforms since at least the late 1990s. The evidence reviewed in this report suggests that visually impaired passengers travelling by rail are exposed to substantially greater risks at station platforms than the general population. Additionally, research has shown that tactile surfaces are effective at reducing this risk and provide a crucial aid to visually impaired people. Despite this, the overall result of the railway's current practices is a patchwork of different approaches and conflicting understanding about when tactile surfaces should be installed. This has primarily resulted in installation alongside other major station works only and irrespective of risk. However, Installation of tactile surfaces should be considered as a specific activity at locations where this is justified, in terms of both safety risk reduction and accessibility improvements. We have made six recommendations to improve safety. Two recommendations are made to the Department for Transport and Network Rail. Firstly, to create a coherent process for establishing when tactile surfaces should be installed on station platforms. And secondly, to progress a programme to install tactile surfaces where justified. This should prioritise locations that will give the greatest safety benefit across the UK rail network. Additionally, the Rail Delivery Group should develop a means of reducing the risks associated with visually impaired people using station platforms, where tactile surfaces have not yet been installed. RSSB should ensure that the UK rail industry has sufficient information to assess and manage the risks associated with disabled people using the railway generally. The Office of Rail and Road should help visually impaired people decide if it's safe to travel by ensuring train operators publish information on which station platforms are fitted with tactile surfaces. Finally, the emergency services should improve their processes for requesting and confirming safe access to the railway infrastructure where this is urgently needed to preserve life. This was a terrible accident. It's highlighted the risk to visually impaired passengers at the platform edge. The recommendations made today, when implemented by the railway industry, will improve safety at stations across the network. They will also help more people to feel confident that they can travel independently on the UK railway.